This is almost never talked about. I no longer get excited for the same snacks. Now I get legitimately excited when I see Evian in a grocery store. Yeah, I, I no longer get excited for donuts and stuff because I'm like, I, I just know it's gonna make me sick. So yeah, it's just not gonna make me feel good. When you start to eat healthier, healthy food begins to taste better. There are so many people who want to become healthier and clean up their diet, but think, I don't want to give up cake. I just love cake too much. And here you have Brentley, who is down 43 kg since he started started losing weight, getting excited over bottled water. And he says he doesn't give in to those same cravings that he used to. So why does healthy food start to taste better when you lose weight? I'll explain, but first I wanted to ask Brentley more about his experience with it. As I lose weight and get healthier and dive more and more into this journey, where I'm getting better and making these better decisions for myself, both psychologically and physically, I find myself craving different foods, you know? In the old days, I used to eat like a monster, a crazy person. I used to down two packs of Oreos, two bags of chips, a whole bunch of soda, like a whole 12 pack of soda every day. And it was crazy, it was unreasonable. And I gained a ton of weight. When my mom died, I ended up gaining like 200 pounds in six months and it was brutal. It was absolutely insane. And I never wanna to get to that point again. And as I find myself getting more and more into physical fitness and stuff like that, I find it easy easier and easier to make the correct decisions. Obesity is actually proven to reduce taste buds by around 25% and like most senses it can get dulled with overuse. So when you overindulge in sugary foods, more sugary foods is the only thing that will satisfy you. And like Brentley said, when you start making better decisions, it is easier to keep making better decisions. And there is a great quote on this by Andrew Huberman. Don't spike dopamine prior to engaging in effort and don't spike dopamine after engaging in effort. Learn to spike your dopamine from effort itself. The first step is always the hardest to take, but once you start seeing your hard work pay off, it is much easier to keep going. Brentley also said that a tragedy in his life sent him on a downward spiral, but remember that the existence of a downward spiral confirms the existence of an upward spiral. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if you enjoy these videos and have a nice day.